The code on my screen is a simple request to a URL function that gets the HTML data from the URL we specify. You can see it returns it down here. Now in this video I'm going to show you how you can write your own retry decorator function that will allow us to retry this as many times as we choose if it should fail. Now if you've never seen a decorator before, it's the at symbol and then the name above your function that basically is going to wrap that function within some extra code that we can use to extend and modify the way that it works without actually changing the code within the function itself. So the first thing we want to do is we need to define the name for our function. I'm going to call this retry and as like all functions we need to give it something to work with and in this case we're going to be giving it a function. So I'm just going to write the word func here. Now what we need to do is because this is going to be a decorator, we need to give it a wrapper which is going to basically go around, if you like, the function within it and then we can specify things that happened before and after. So we need another def uh, we need another DEF for define and I'm just going to call this one retry wrapper. Now because the function that we have is going to take an argument, our get data takes a URL argument, we need to tell our function wrapper here in our retry but it also is going to take that argument how you do that is you do the star and then the args if you had multiple ones you could also do double star and keyword args just like this so the first thing that we want to do is specify how many retries and attempts we are on because we're going to be running this within a while loop so we need something that's going to stop us otherwise we'll go forever so what i like to do is just put in a retries up here retries and we're going to say that is going to be equals to three you can set that as to whatever you like so what we want to do is set the number of attempts that we're on so we're going to say our attempts and we'll just start at zero and now we want to do our while loop so we're going to say while uh, attempts is less than retries we're going to be doing this code now this is where we're going to actually execute our get data function so what we want to do is let's just return uh, let's sorry let's do a try because we want to try to see if it will work because if it fails we get that exception so I'm going to say try I'm going to try to return our function up here Ooh, our func uh, with the args and the keyword arguments as well just like this so these basically just represent any arguments that we're passing into the function and if this fails we're going to have our exception so we're going to have accept and at the moment I'm just going to hit pass in there because I'm going to show you what happens if this uh, what the exception looks like so let's just change the uh, URL so it doesn't exist when we try to get this data you can see we get all of this uh, error and we get our requests exception connection error down here now if you wanted to be specific you could specify this connection error but what we're going to do is we're just going to do a catch-all we're going to use the, re the request exception so what we're going to say is that if we get that we want to do something with it so we're going to say accept we'll get rid of our pass so we're going to say accept uh, requests dot exceptions and now we want the request exception as e so what this is saying is that we're going to try to execute this function and if it fails we're going to pick up our exception we're going to say that this one if you see this is the sort of catch-all for requests um, see it says there was an ambiguous exception where error while handling your request so this is going to catch that I'm going to print that error out I'm going to print that exception out here and we're also then going to sleep so we can then retry this again so I'm going to import time so let's do import time so we can then do time.sleep so let's do time.sleep and specify the number of seconds that we want to sleep for I'm going to say two in this case you can have it at whatever you like just like you can have as many retries as you like now what we want to do because we're within our while loop and we're saying that while our attempts is less than our retries number we want to take our attempts and do plus is equal to one which is going to add a one to each of our attempts so you can see we're starting at zero so it's every, next time around it'll be one two three four etc etc now the last thing that we want to do is we need to return out of this retry wrapper we want to return the value that comes back so we can just do like this and that's not no need that there we can just do that which is going to return out of our retry wrapper so let's just tidy up our code a little bit i'm going to let pycharm reformat the file for me and i'm going to make this back to uh, http bin which is the correct one and now we can actually add our retry decorator to our function here at retry just like this 
So you see it's turned yellow on my screen, which means now when this function is run, it's going to use the retry function. It's going to put it in through here and we're going to get this come back to us. So let's run this now and we will get the text back as we were expecting. But if I change this to a nonsense URL, let's just copy and paste so we can switch between the two easier. So let's just say, please sub to me dot uh, org dot html i expect that doesn't exist now we're going to hit our retries and we can see that we've got one error here two three so it's retrying through and now it's returned none because it failed that we didn't manage to get a good connection so we've returned nothing out now i'm just printing the general exception here you could of course put something else in here make it much tidier you would also definitely want to use logging with that and if you're interested in learning about logging you should go ahead and check out this video here i did on it a little while ago